This is a Logic Pro X tutorial on recording audio. So whether that's your voice as a speaking voice, or you wanna sing, or you want to record an acoustic guitar, for example. Anything that can be captured with a microphone like this. This is just a small snippet of content that is coming from a full extensive Logic Pro X tutorial that I do have for free. There is a link in the description below. So if you're interested in more of an extensive tutorial of Logic Pro X from a beginner's perspective, so if you're coming into it fresh and you don't really know anything about Logic Pro X, I do recommend checking that out. It is free and there is a link in the description. This video solely focuses on how we are going to record audio with a microphone. How can we set up an audio interface to actually get the sounds going into the microphone and how do we actually start recording on Logic Pro X. While you're watching this video, if you want to follow along with the same session that I'm working on, I have posted a link as well. You can download it for free so we can be working on the same project. Now we want to start recording a audio, whether it's an acoustic guitar or vocal. And so how we want to get that track is we want to go up to the top here where it says track and new tracks. We can either click new tracks or we can simply you see below here it says new audio track. And because we actually know we want an audio track, we can click audio track. And that's made a new audio track called audio 3 for us. And in order for us to record, we want to arm this track by, putting, by pressing R. And now we can start recording right away, either pressing this red button here at the top or we can press R on our keyboard. Before we record, I don't want to hear the other tracks in place. So I'm going to press M here to mute all the other tracks. And now I'm quickly just going to want to record a quick example of me talking. So I'm going to press R on my keyboard. And now I'm saying a few words. And the signal is coming up. And now I know I'm actually recording. So cool. Now we can go back and hear what that sounds like. And now I'm saying a few words. And the signal is coming up and now I know I'm actually recording. Cool, so now I know that I can start recording vocals if I have my lyrics ready and I wanna do a take right away. What I can do now is highlight this, press backspace to delete it. It's gonna ask me if it wants to um, keep a file referenced in their artist entries to the right, or if, it wants, if I want to delete this permanently. And for me, because I'll likely never want to use that again, I'm just gonna delete this permanently and press okay. Then let's say I want to start recording vocals right away and I'm ready and I want to hear the other tracks in place. Well, I can unmute the other tracks and I want to make sure the sound is coming out of my headphones instead of my studio monitors if I'm going to want to hear the other tracks. For example, if I start recording audio right now where the other tracks are coming out of my studio monitors, it's going to sound pretty bad. For example, and as I'm talking, the vocals coming through, but also the sound is coming through. So the sound of my studio monitors is picking up in my microphone and I don't want that. So how I'm going to fix that is I'm quickly going to delete this. And I'm going to go back to my audio preferences and I'm going to change the output to my built-in output which are coming out of my headphones. I'm going to apply those changes. I'm going to X here and then I'm going to record again. And now the sound is coming out of my headphones and the microphone is only picking up the volume coming from my voice. So I'm gonna show you a couple of ways that you can troubleshoot if your audio is not coming through your microphone. So obviously, first off, make sure that it's plugged into your audio interface and that it's plugged into your microphone. A couple issues could be that you're not having the right input set up. So let's click this inspector window here and we're gonna to wanna to go to this section where it says input. You wanna make sure the input you put on your audio interface that that number corresponds to this number. So if you put your XLR cable into the input number two into your audio interface, then you would want to make this input number two. If you put it into number one, then you would want to make this number one. One problem could be if your audio is not coming through is you put your XLR into your input number two on your audio interface and it says input number one here. So that could be one issue that you're going to resolve quickly by just checking the inputs. Another issue could be that your gain level is just too low on your audio interface. So what I mean by that is every audio interface has a gain knob where you can increase the amount of signal that you're getting from your condenser microphone. So if you don't have enough signal, then sometimes the microphone's not picking up any sound at all. And I'll give you a quick example. So let's say I start recording a vocal here. I'm going to arm the channel on audio number three, and now my vocal is coming through. I'm going to mute the other channels right now and I'm going to press R on my keyboard to record 
So now the signal is coming through and you can see I'm talking and the vocal is coming through my microphone. But if I go over to my audio interface here and I turn the gain knob all the way down, let's still talk, I'm still talking, I'm still talking, and now I'm not getting any signal from my vocal, but it's still connected and I've got my inputs and everything's right. So let me just clean, slowly turn up the gain knob and as I continue to talk, the vocal will start coming in. Checking, checking, checking. Vocal taking a bit of time. Now it's coming in. I'm continuing to raise it. Now it's getting quite loud and now it's starting to peak. And this is bad. I mean, it's not bad, but you don't want it to be this intense because it's actually coming in too hot. And you can see on the left side here, it's starting, to, it's, it's yellow. So you want to find that sweet spot where it is around, I like to record it around negative eight. So if you have enough headroom, that's a good volume that I like to record at. So I do think recording vocals at around a negative eight dB, just to have enough headroom is good for your vocal recording. So you can increase it later if you need to. Don't worry too much about um, dBs and level of recordings. The most important thing is that you're getting signal from your microphone and that you don't want it to be yellow or red. So as I'm talking, you can see it's negative eight, it's green, and that means it's getting enough signal from the microphone, but not too much. And so that's exactly where we want that to be. So that's how to record vocals and how you set up the audio interface with your microphone in Logic Pro X. Let's quickly show you how to set up an acoustic guitar with Logic Pro X and how to record guitar. So I'm gonna highlight this, delete this, and use the same channel to record an acoustic guitar audio. So delete this, I'm gonna go back to the beginning. And now I'm going to change this input to input number two because that's where my guitar input is. And uh, I can right away, because I just changed that input, I can start playing my acoustic guitar, which I can grab it right now here. So I have my acoustic guitar and I can press R, start recording my acoustic guitar. So as you can see, it starts recording. It's not picking up my vocal anymore, which is great, which means I have my inputs correctly. I can start strumming my guitar. I'll make sure my volume is up on my acoustic guitar. Make sure the gain is up on the audio interface. Let's the gain. Got to increase the gain a bit more. And there comes the acoustic guitar. This is everything from a beginner's perspective you really need to know when it comes to Logic Pro X when you're recording audio or recording a guitar. If you're looking to take your Logic Pro X knowledge the next step further, my two tips when recording audio would be get to know effects. Um, basic ones like channel EQ and reverb, but also try to understand compression. Know what levels you should be recording at, where you should put your gain on the audio interface, how far away you should be from the microphone. There are a lot of nuances when it comes to recording audio that can't be all covered in this basic tutorial. I'm a singer songwriter myself, so if you're interested or curious to hear what I sound like, I'll leave my music in the description as well. If you want more content around music, personal growth, and entrepreneurship, please feel free to subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video.